I said earlier, before we were interrupted, today is a battle of the boys versus girls, so it's up to you to decide which cheetah is going to be faster. Now, our male cheetah is going to be running first. His name is Chance, and he is nine years old. Looks like we're ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, the fastest animal on land, this is African cheetah, Chance. Here he comes across the back. He's looking pretty fast so far. Will he go all the way around? Oh, and he will all the way around the mound. A wide turn, but look at that focus. Oh, and a sliding stop into the bushes. Good job, man. Fantastic job. Now, you can't see them, but this is the part of the show where the trainer's going to walk up and grab that toy right out of Chance's mouth. So it's probably a good thing to find that mouth. No? Not today. Uh, our cheetahs are going to be training for a nice big pan of their favorite food. You see, even though our cheetahs were born and raised in captivity, they're still very much wild animals. We're not about to stick our hands in their mouth to grab that toy. So all of our cheetahs are trained to trade. They know that we can swap out that dog toy for a nice big pan of their favorite meal because we want to make sure they get paid for all that hard work you just did to catch that toy. Good job, Stan. Now, next, we're going to be able to see our female cheetah brunch. But first, we have one of our volunteers here in the audience. Ava's going to come up and teach us a little bit more about cheetahs and just what makes them so special. Come on up. Stand right up there. Now, one question we get all the time here at the show is, how do you tell a cheetah apart from all those other big cats with spots? The best way to do that is to look for malar stripes. The cheetahs and only cheetahs have those two black lines that run down either side of their face. And they work just like eye black on a football or baseball player to help reflect the glare of the sun so that they can see their prey. Now we don't have any eye black here, but we have some sunglasses, and they work just as well. You're going to go ahead and put those on. Yes, you can wear those. Perfect. Now we can see our prey. Now cheetahs are incredibly fast runners. They don't fit their little too big. Okay, you'll have to wear the mallard stripes. So in order to get to our prey, we have to take off running 70 miles an hour. They can only maintain that speed, though, for about 30 seconds. So we're going to have to get pretty close to our prey before we take off. And for that, we're going to need some camouflage. So we have some cheetah spots for you that will help you camouflage in with the African span. You can put those on. Don't worry, cheetah print is very in. There you go. Now cheetahs have about 2,000 spots, and every spot pattern is unique. So you can get to know our cheetahs and tell them apart based off of their unique spot pattern. They have a long tail that works just like a rudder on a boat to help them steer around those tight turns. Cheetah tails are flat on the side, and they help them steer in balance when they're running at top speed. Now, our pigs thought it was pretty funny earlier, but they really do have dog-like paws. See, their claws stay out all the time. Unlike your house cats at home that have retractable claws, cheetah claws are out all the time, just like the dogs, and they work like treads on cleats to help them dig into the ground and get traction so they can get up to top speed and maintain that grip. So what do you think, folks? Do you think our volunteer looks a little faster? I think so. You did a great job. That's for you. You can take those off because it looks like we're just about ready to see our next cheetah run. Ladies and gentlemen, the fastest animal on land is this African cheetah, Mia. but girls rule, they beat them every time. Now, even though cheetahs are the fastest animal on land, for a while, it seemed like they were running out of time. The cheetah populations were declining, and they were disappearing from the African savanna. However, over recent years, and thanks in part to support a conservation program by the Cincinnati Zoo, the Cat Ambassador Program here in the Angel Fund, and of course, visitors like you coming here to see us today, cheetah populations have begun to grow. We hope that they'll continue to grow and stabilize in the future for years to come. And you've already helped save cheetahs in the wild. And if you want to learn more about how you can save other species like the cheetah, just visit us online at CincinnatiZoo.com. Org. On behalf of all the Cheetah Encounter trainers here today, I'd like to thank you again for coming to see us and allowing us to share our amazing animals with you. Nia will be out in the yard for a few more minutes. If you'd like to come on and take some pictures, I'll be right here if you have any questions. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day here at the Cincinnati Zoo. You told her to, Mom. Admit it, you did. No, she did not. She wanted to. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.